Hello, this is David Biocchi speaking and uh, here we go with my weekly intermarket analysis. Let's start as usual with the euro dollar that, uh, let's say, after a long run is now, uh, let's say, uh, is now waiting for something to come and this uh, something to come is probably the meeting of the Federal Reserve uh, of the FOMC, so the Federal Open Market Committee that will take place uh, uh, from Tuesday to Wednesday and finally we will know something about it but also we have on Thursday the ECB meeting so it's uh, let's say um, it's a, a double event that will have a for sure a strong impact uh, on the euro dollar so it remains something like this we have seen clearly around here that the market was in a congestion the last time uh, it was into this uh, range and there is also another potential congestion up there so probably the market will be in a congestion here and also in another potential congestion if it will continue raising but we cannot exclude the fact that is even more probable uh, maybe uh, from a certain perspective that the dollar can come back and uh, maybe uh, it can reach again the level of 1.05 that we have around here uh, finally, 1037 is the main support that we can see around here. So, this is what I expect from the euro dollar. Let's switch immediately after to the crude oil. And the crude oil is still in the previous range that we already highlighted, uh, that is uh, 82 to uh, 71 uh, around here. Okay, so this is more or less the main level. And we have another uh, another sideway up there from 82 to 93. So is this the moment, is this the time for the crude oil to go above the price of 82 and continue the previous range? Well, it's hard to say, but this could be a very powerful tree in case it will happen. Otherwise, the market will continue this way. And be careful because below this price of 70, around 70, the market has the potential to go down and even reach 61. So it's really interesting. Um, what about the gold? Well, the gold did a very interesting and fast run moving from the minimum that we have seen recently around 1620. And let's say with a, a, a pennant and then a flag and another pennant here, the market reached easily a price that is above the level of 1915 that we have been assuming uh, as a, a main important target and resistance so what about the next step well for sure 1980 that is more or less the level around here will work as a resistance above that we have the previous record high reached twice after the covid that is 2080 so is uh, let's say uh, is the gold uh, going toward that levels well it seems but i think that this one 1980 will be very strong let's say to go above let's see what is going to happen in uh, uh, the next days and the next weeks uh, what about the uh, stock indices well let's start from europe where we have a powerful dax back again into the, 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 the period that was pre-war here and that we can assume uh, to exist above the price of 14,800. These two were the record high for the DAX and the market have a potential to continue this way. But despite that, in case of a market below the price of 14,800, we can uh, assist, we can see uh, potentially even a quite fast uh, a quite fast uh, uh, downtrend so let's see what is going to happen very similar is the situation that we have on the stock 50 so the euro stock 50 that uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, is in a similar condition for what concerning the trend uh, as it is the dax but here the value is 4000 so the market above 4000 is back into the previous range that we can clearly see here and uh, let's say uh, it is a, a very strong struggle that has the next step around the level of 4200 
250, more or less this level here, okay? The market is congestioning a little bit below that. Let's see what will happen if a market will reach that interesting level. And for what concerning the US situation, well, recently the US markets were weaker than the European one, but uh, uh, in the last period, something changed. The first thing that I have to share with you is that uh, is a good news and that and is that uh, the um, and is that uh, the s p 500 was able let's say uh, was able to end up with the uh, downtrend that we have seen recently uh, let me do like this and came here so it will be more easy for you to see so in this case uh, it was no more real let's say this downtrend that went through for more than one year we already uh, saw something in December, but was just uh, intraday, and then at the end of the day, the market was below. Recently, the market exited this downtrend, especially not only uh, on a daily perspective, but also on a weekly perspective. So it's very interesting. But despite this, there was not something like a skyrocketing or a boost. Uh, it was only a question of a market going up, because the real resistances are here. 4,150 uh, and then 4,300. Yes, there are also some intermediate level like 4,090 or something like that, but the main one are here and then here finally. So let's see what is going to happen. And also uh, the Nasdaq is doing uh, something similar. The Nasdaq, yes, was able to exit the range and uh, went above the price of 12,000. This is a reality. So 12,000 is this level around here and the market was able to go above. But at the end, it's only a question of, uh, uh, let's say, how long it will remain above this level. So, because during this week, we will see the Federal Reserve, we will see, yes, the European Central Bank, but it's, it's, it's not a big impact on the Nasdaq. <coughs> but on Friday, we will have the payrolls and the unemployment that will impact a lot on it. So let's see what is going to happen. The market is a little bit above this level, but there's a need to see the market more and more intensively above this level to trust this movement. So in this moment, this is a movement in the very beginning. And uh, um, I mean, we have to see if this uh, movement will be trusted by the uh, investors. So this is this week is decisive and let's see what is going to happen thank you very much for being here see you soon bye bye